told Dad that I was going to do the intro to the whole part of this video. I'm Eastern Lamb, but with Mount Music and Mules. This hunt was funny. Dad looked like he was trying to fly. These are the bees he got stung with. And it's called a yellow jacket. So funny. This hunt is about the bees and the bear. It was trying to jump out and run from the dogs as fast as it could. But you'll see in this video. Like and subscribe and click the notifications. Another morning going bear hunting. Up. I'm by myself this morning, just all me and old scruff. And we're headed to some, a little piece of property that I haven't hunted a single time this year. And uh, I kind of just want to see what's in there, how the feed is. Uh, just, just get the feel of it in general. I've got another minute drive, and I'll be down there, get these dogs collared up, and try to find some bear. stop here get these dogs collared up and uh, hopefully you'll find us a bear in a little bit. No bear. Alright so each dog gets most of them gets two collars. I run a Garmin uh, GPS collar. Uh, one that lets me know where they are at all times. And then there's another one. Uh, I run a secondary collar, um, which is the same type of collar basically. And it's a just in case collar. If it malfunctions or anything, then I can hook to the other collar and still keep up with where the where my hounds are. get a pack and stuff on and just start taking one off. See, hopefully we find a bear. That's Abby. So basically I'm on an old road that goes around here. Uh, it winds around. I can go a couple miles if I want to. So um, I'm just going to kind of walk down through here and make a big lap and hopefully find us a bear. Dogs are getting a little scent here and I'm just, they haven't opened or barked the first time, but I'm just watching their body language. And there, there's an old pond here about, uh, and now it's about a hundred yards away. But I'm gonna walk down and walk around that. Not, not enough scent or anything there to. Uh, they don't. So basically, I'm gonna keep, keep 
keep moving. Hey! And that was a, I'm not sure if it was a deer chase or, uh, really ain't sure exactly what it was, but a couple of young dogs just left out of there and I just kind of let them go. Let my old dogs fall in behind them and check them real good. Basically check them, double check them. And I uh, realized that it, of course, it wasn't bear. So, and uh, all these young pups have been on enough bear where I feel perfectly comfortable getting them back, hollering them back to me. I'm not going to use the stimulation or the shock, uh, very heavy or anything. But at the same time, uh, all these young dogs are tone broke, so tone them real heavy. Uh, yeah, um, they'll they'll be able to tell just by my attitude that I'm not happy with it. So, um, part of hunting young dogs. Well, I have the guilty, oops. I have the guilty party back with me. Come on, y'all. Uh oh, what do we got in bees? Ah, oh, shoot, got bees. And I'm running because we just got in a nest of bees. Man, they're still ah. Ouch. Come on, Scruff. Come on, y'all. Boy, that hurts. Hang on, Chief. Ah, man, that thing's Come here, Minnie. Come here. Ah, jeez. I'm sorry, God. Boy, we got ate up. Merton's on it, huh? Well, that wasn't no fun. Got in a nest of yellow jackets. Boy, them suckers burn us up. So, anyway, we was 150 yards away and them rascals was still on us. But, anyway, got past them. I think I've got them off all the dogs. Now, back to bear hunting. Two out of them on you, Minnie. It's not a very good track, but dogs have found the track here, so hopefully we'll get it going. Well, it's a, it's a rough track, but they're they're taking it. I've only got. Two dogs that are really trying to trail trail. 
All my others are just young dogs, basically, and dogs that can't really buckle down the trail, but it's a good track for them to learn on there. Well, I am not sure um, exactly what's going on. My older dog's still trying to trail a bit. Uh, two younger dogs, it's way, way out. And I say in front, but honestly, I don't think they're probably not running a bear. They've probably done bumped off on something else because they're moving on now. So, I don't know. I'll see if my other's falling behind them. Just kind of wait and watch, see what happens. So. It kind of makes sense now. Uh, one of my older dogs went, kind of cut off the ridge and went the opposite way from my pups. Um, barking decent and uh, pretty sure she's jumped and coming around. So, and when I say jumped, she's got the bear up and, and running. It's done turned into a race now. She's trying to catch the bear. Um, but they've so far they've made a lap coming around coming right back towards me um it looks like going across this road and i'm on right behind me all right uh another update so basically many my older dog brought a bear across this road um it was back behind me so i didn't i didn't get to see it or anything but a couple of my other young dogs um they have um she kind of picked them up and when i say pick them up like they've hit her scent trail and i think many just treat it many and julie they're way out in front and they're showing treat now so i'm kind of headed in here my other dogs have made it in there also um, so i've got a little bit of a walk it shouldn't be too bad and i'll be in there to them and we'll see what they got Well, I'm on top of a big, flat ridge. I got a pretty good size drop off on both sides of me, but I just gotta walk this ridge out. Oh, seven, 800 yards. And then drop off on the right side and holla to where these dogs are true. So it'll take me a few minutes, but I'll, I'll be there in just a bit. Well, the dogs aren't the dogs aren't treeing really good but usually what it's kind of telling me is that bear's probably up pretty high and they can't see it very good or it's not moving around in some ways that can be a good thing they're they're steady barking so that's that's all i'm asking I've kind of dropped out of that big thicket. I'm gonna drop right down here. I think they're right dead in the bottom of the hollow. But I'm only like 100 yards away. A little steep coming off here. It's steep going back up. Bailed out on me.
Yeah, that sucker keeps, rascal keeps jumping out on me. So, anyway. I got the dogs tied back. I'm gonna try to get it back here somewhere and see if I can see this bear decent, get a little video of it in the tree. another tree right over got almost them tied up bowed out again and come back to the original big white tiny tree did. no he's setting up really good so uh, yeah i'm gonna grab these dogs and get back to the truck i am pouring the sweat now uh, i had to pull that big ridge it had laurel all over it and get across it and through that flat now i'm kind of not too terrible far from the truck so. back of the truck and we'll get these dogs some water call it a day if y'all want to see more hit the like and subscribe we'll catch y'all on the next one